What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to insert a pivot table in an email body. So let's get into it. All right, on the left, I've got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got some data about countries here, countries of the world and their regions. And what we're gonna do is create a pivot table with this data. So I'm gonna hit Control A to copy all the data and then insert tables, pivot table. And it'll be on a new sheet. And you see we've got our sheet here and our table we need to populate. So let's go with regions on the rows and then countries. We're going to put those as values here. So we're going to have a count of the countries. And then we can go ahead and do a count of the population as well or some of the population. All right. So let's go with that as our pivot table for now. And we'll change the name of this tab to pivot sheet. All right. And... Let's go into our sub, and we'll call this sub send email with pivot table, and we'll declare our variables. We're gonna have out app as object, out mail as object. We're gonna have table as our pivot table, pick as a picture we're going to have ws as our worksheet and then we're going to have a word doc all right so with out app we're going to set that equal to create object we want the outlook application And then we're going to set out mail equal to out app create item zero. And then now we're going to set our worksheet equal to this workbook dot sheets. And we want this sheet here, the pivot sheet. So pivot sheet. And we're going to set our table equal to WS dot pivot tables and then we need the name of our pivot table so to get the name of our pivot table what we're gonna do is click on the pivot table and you see our pivot table analysis populates here so if I click off it it's gone now I click on the table it's here so we can click on this tab go to pivot table and our pivot table name will be right here so the pivot table name is pivot table one so we'll just copy that and paste it over here alright so now what we're going to want to do is activate WS, the pivot sheet, and then our table, we're going to want to copy it. But you just can't put copy here. You're going to have to do table range 2. This allows it to have the property to actually be able to copy. Otherwise, you'll get an error. So remember that. You have to use table range 2 in order to copy the table. All right. So then we're going to set our pick equal to WS pictures. paste and then with our picture and end our width we're going to select and cut it all right so this is what we're going to do prior to our email so now we're gonna let's just add a comment create an email message so now we're going to say on error resume next and what we're going to do is without mail, we're going to have two, let's make up something, we're going to be sending this to team at 123.com, we're going to CC no one, BCC no one, our subject is going to be country population data and let's go ahead and add like a date in here so uh, format date and we'll do month month dash day day dash year 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 all right and then we're going to want to display the message before it gets sent out 
All right, so now this is where we're going to insert our pivot table. So we're going to set Word doc, this very last um, variable up here, we're going to set this equal to outmail, get inspector, word editor, and then with our Word doc range, we're going to paste and format WD chart picture. All right, and then what we're going to do now is insert paragraph after. And we're going to do, let's do two of these. So I spelled insert wrong. Insert. Insert paragraph after. And then insert after that. So this was what's happening is we're pacing the table and then we're going to insert a paragraph insert a paragraph and then insert after that we're going to say thank you it's like our signature and then we're going to do another insert paragraph after and then insert after Greg all right and then we'll end our width and then for above the chart, we're going to do HTML body. And we're going to set that equal to body style. And we want our font size. Let's make it 12 point font. And then our font family. We'll make that Arial. And then I'm going to continue on to the next line. So I'm going to use an ampersand and an underscore to do that. And we're going to say, hi, team. And then we're going to have a paragraph break. Please see table below. Oops. And then we're going to have another paragraph break. So, so these essentially do the same thing, this P. Um, and then these insert paragraph after we're just writing an HTML here um, so it's just a different syntax but it accomplishes the same thing and then we're gonna do ampersand dot HTML body all right and I'm missing something I need a quotation here we go all right and then we're gonna end our width And then on error, go to zero. We're going to set out app equal to nothing and set out mail equal to nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. All right, you got an issue. You need a dot right here. All right, let's try this again. There we go. We've got our pivot table, We've got our message. It goes to team at 123.com. The title is the subject is country population data. And then it's got the date. And then we have high team. Please see table below with our pivot table. And uh, yeah.